there I'm just trying to give you a little homework help here if we go to our canvas page and click on the homework that we're going to be doing you should see a link for GeoGebra for today click on that GeoGebra link and it'll take you to GeoGebra I see I've not made a window super big so let's see if I can drag this a little bit down so you can see it there we go I think that will be the most important things actually I can shrink it at this end a little bit and uh, hopefully that'll work um, GeoGebra is awesome drawing program you can click this X and get rid of that you can go up here and select a segment tool and draw a segment just copy what I'm doing here um, if you get little la labels there and you don't want the labels you can go up here and under settings you can go to oops you can go to labeling yeah labeling and go no new objects that's what I'm trying to do and then save settings and X out of that up here and you won't get letters down there um, which I find kind of annoying here is my focal point for my parabola and then I'm going to put a floating point on there and that is when you see it change from the arrow to the hand arrow hand when it's on the hand I click like that then I can select the segment tool and create a segment from here to my focal point okay that's going to be the line that will help me find our fold line which is going to be the perpendicular bisector so to do that I'm going to find the midpoint tool so under each of these you'll find a plethora of tools you can choose this one will give you a nice midpoint I want to now do the perpendicular click on that I don't want to be parallel I don't want to be um, oh there's a perpendicular bisector I could have done it all at once I made the bisector then I made it perpendicular you can use that tool as well but there's the perpendicular you can click on the line and then bring it over to the lock on the point or click on the point first then the line we're almost done because all I want to do is animate this if I go to the arrow and click on this with my right click and then animate that will move it okay but I want to show the different fold lines as it goes from one end to the other so I'm going to click my pause button down there in the corner then I'm going to double click on this or right finger click select that and I will then trace the objects show trace and now when I click play I'll get a very nice collection of fold lines like that okay and you can then see what types of parabolas you get from different starting distances for your focal point okay and you can see it makes a beautiful curve shape based only on an accumulation of straight lines if I stop it click up here I can bring this down oops I'm gonna oh good I thought it was gonna show the trace lines and I can maybe jang this out here yep let's try it again okay it took away the tracing so I'm gonna do the tracing again first I'm gonna drag this out here and I'll, again I'll two finger click and anim or trace this object and there it goes okay you can see that now the focal point is closer to my line so it's a steeper parabola okay if I drag this up here you'll see this one will give it a much wider parabola okay so take a screenshot of that you can watch it in slow motion and duplicate it hopefully that'll be fun thanks